Hello. <laughs> Welcome to everything we do, fam. Ah, it's been a while. <laughs> Uh, work has not allowed me to do anything and a couple with the yeah sorry there might be noise at the background because they are constructing the road in front of the office so just bear with me I have just been thinking a lot I have been thinking very very much I sat down at the balcony last year December you know and I started to cry it's not as if um, there was a long meditation or there is anything sorry I just remembered daddy Prophet T.P. Joshua. Though he comes, comes to me in the night, he appears to me on the road. And you know what road means when you're traveling? That's your destiny. He appears to me, he gives me directions, and he says a lot of things, knowing all things, knowing many things. I think mostly because he just wants me to know that. Um, God is using him to let me know that I am on track. I think maybe after he's replaced as my prophet. But for now, he still appears just like when he was with us in the physical. I don't know whether my volume is low or something. I began to cry at the balcony. It was in the evening during the December period, the festive period. I did not remember him just because of what festive periods used to be in my life. And I believe in the life of so many other people that we connected to him in one way or the other. But there was this sharp pain of losing something that can never be replaced. Of course, the prophets... And the prophetesses have stepped in. They've done so much. But you know, nobody can be like Prophet T.B. Joshua. He was a special human. He was a special person. I like to refer to him as the person. He was a special person. His shoes will never be filled. Our lives without him can never be the same you know when he was here we could see him in physical and we could see him in the dream now we see him only in our sleep we don't see him in the physical and we miss a lot we sat with the disciples when we traveled together and we were talking about him and it was just tears everybody was crying in the in the in the meeting I'm not going to cry today though. <laughs> it was just teary because of how special he is. And I say, what an impact. What an impact. Today I promised myself I'm not going to cry on camera. What an impact. What an impact that man has created. He was from the western part of Nigeria. I am from the northern part of Nigeria, not central to be precise. If I had influenced my NYC, because I had the connection to influence it, and said, okay, I'll do my NYC in Abuja. But something told me, because I have worked for people just a few times, I have always worked for myself. And you know what that means? You're just doing your thing. You're the boss. So at times I feel like, okay, how will I be under someone? And I want to really be under someone for a while. 
I think this is the second time I'm saying it, to see how I would be. I was under someone, just for with some people for just two years. And after the two years, I started my own company. So I don't really know what it means being under someone. So at times I just crave, I just crave, I just crave for it, you know. And I decided that I was not going to influence my NYC. Sorry, I got distracted. A call came through and I'm using my phone to record. So, um, I said I was not going to influence it. Let me see where God would have taken me for my NYC. You know, at times... I just want to step aside and see what God wants for me. I don't like to influence. As much as I know people, I have never gone to people to say that. Give me notes. Let me go to so-so person. I just pray on my needs and I go to the person. So that if the person is for me, the Holy Spirit will help. And in a few times, I have asked for notes to go and see people. I saw them quite all right, but what I was looking for never came. So I know that God does not want to share what the glory of God will be happening in my life with anybody. So as much as I know people, other people think that I should have leverage on the, um, what's it called? The connections I have to be able to go to other people, but I don't. And no door has actually been shut against me. Every door I have tried to go through, God has caused it to be so. Whether I get what I'm looking for or not, I have had access, except I have not prayed. So God has been faithful. And I'm not saying that to boast in a way. I am saying that God is the only one that takes glory. So if this you consider this as boasting, then it's boasting in the Lord. For my 17 years of working in the media, God has always laid my path. He has always been the one. I have received notes maybe on two or three occasions. I don't think it's more than that. And I never got what I was looking for because God told me, do fine. You see your life. Nobody is going to share my glory. It's just going to be about me. So that when you stand in the in the front of crowd, they will see that you belong to me and I did it alone. So at times I just want to see what God will do. So I decided to go and they posted me to Ikari Akoko. That was how I knew about Prophet T.B. Joshua. And I went to Lagos and God ordered my steps. If you want to know how I met Prophet T.B. Joshua, there's a video on this channel that I think it was his birthday. I decided to give that testimony. So you, I, don't, I might not remember the video. Maybe I'll just find the video and put it in the description box. I'll not go through that because the video is already getting long. So I cried. I cried that day and I said, what an impact. Like I was saying, I'm from the North Central. I have no DNA connected to Prophet T.B. Joshua. But since he has passed, I cry every day. I cry every day. I cry every day. What an impact. What an impact. If you have nothing to learn in Prophet T.B. Joshua's life, give touch people's life in such a way that they will never forget you tb joshua has passed on to glory this is getting to two years it's one year eight months we are still mourning nobody is okay we are still mourning there is a vacuum he has left that nobody will be able to feel it as I feel it in my life, I know that a lot of people are going through the same thing. And I see people send messages to my DMs, people send messages to email. It has been the same all over the world. What an impact. Today I want to use TB Joshua's life to encourage you. What impact would you want to leave? Even me for myself, Dofa, what impact will I want to leave? It might not necessarily be in ministry. <coughs> Sorry, I'm choking. It might not necessarily be in ministry. It can be in anything at all. That small thing you're doing. 
you might not have a global impact but in your community what impact what would people say about you it reminds me of the life of tabitha and the scripture what would people around you say it might not be global stage like prophet tb joshua it might not be miracle deliverance and healing it might not be charitable works but in that your present and current environments what are people saying about you what would you be remembered for would you leave a vacuum even if it's not as big as prophetic joshua will you leave a vacuum now <laughs> 2023 has come a lot of people used to criticize him i remember when he goes to the mountain towards the ending of the year to go and seek the lord's face on what is going to happen in the other year and he painstakingly comes out to warn us about what God is planning to do in the next year and how we should prepare for what is coming and all of that. And instead of all to be grateful that someone has dedicated their time to go seek God's face. Because if you don't seek God's face, he will not tell you nothing. He has gone to seek God's face to come and tell us what is about to happen. Rather, we'll criticize. Some would even say, must he show us his picture? He's acting and he's doing what? So well, who is telling you what 2023 election holds now? Except from vague prophecy that people are coming out with that you don't understand. Who is telling you what 2023 election holds? It's next month. It's just in a few weeks, Nigeria will go into elections to elect a president that will rule the country for another year, another four years. Who is telling you what to expect? Who is telling you what is going to happen? Who is telling you that this is what is coming in the year? Buckle up in this area, buckle up in this area, and buckle up in this area. And we know we are all busy. So most times we don't even pray that much. Who is telling you? That is how much impact Prophet Tebi Joshua had. I would have given my life for him to remain here. So when I talk, some people feel that it was just about what he was to me. Of course, partly is that as well. But it's not just about what he was to me. It was about how much he was doing for the world as well. I should have given my life to say, God, let him be here some more. Because it would have just been me. But a lot of people will not have to tear and cry and go through the pains that they have gone through. T.B. Joshua will love you. I remember you always. I remember you today. I hope that we will be able to just do a pinch of what you have done impact your world impact your world impact your world no matter how small impact your world is very very important who is telling us prophecy for the year now if tb joshua were to be here at least we would have known not as if some of us have not known but would have known in clear terms. At times, God show you something, but you're looking for clarity. You know, you're looking for clarity. You're looking for clarification. I believe that he was just one of the prophets in our generation. Daddy, we will cherish you forever. We will remember you forever. Until we meet to part no more. I love you so much. Okay, do let me know what you think in the comment section. Is there any other way you've missed Prophet T.P. Joshua that I have not mentioned? There are so many angles to so one person, to so many issues. <laughs> so if there are any other ways, please, let's discuss them in the comment section. I love you all. I will see you again when I see you. Bye.